Hello Sunflowers, Mystic Intuition here bringing you a collective reading. Uh, this is uh, not science specific, so if you happen to be intuitively drawn here, the messages could be for you. There are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Uh, please know time is fluid, which means this could resonate for you, past, present, or future. Could be happening to you right now, could be happening to the future. Um, let's get started. I'm going to ask um, for a specific situation because some of the most common things I get um, are things like I'm not together with this person, but I want to know what they're thinking, like if they will ever contact me again. So to the person that you are not in connection with, the person you are not in contact with, what are they thinking about you? How are they feeling? You know, will you ever speak to this person again? Be in union with this person? What you need to know? Remember, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not. There's also a timeless playlist in the description box, as well as I do put out weekly readings for each individual zodiac sign. So definitely check those out as well. What is going on here for the collective who are not in contact with their person um, but want to know if something will ever come of this situation? Okay. So we have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Okay. We have addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block or a restraint we have not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation a call a person boundaries or still angry so they're like in avoidant mode but there's a lot of pain here okay hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand and gambling and soulmates Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. Okay, so the person that you are not in connection with, but still think of, still feel connected to, still wonder about, they are upset over this connection. They may try to pretend like they're fine, okay? They may even tell other people that this situation does not affect them. I'm fine. No, no dude, I, don't, I never think about her. What are you talking about? I never, I'm fine. But this is, that's a lie. Okay, this is somebody who does think about you, but they try really hard to pretend that they don't care. I think this is someone who struggles a lot with their ego, wanting to look confident and in control. This is what they wanted. They got what they wanted. They're fine with it. But there's a lot of very like deep, sad like grief that this person feels. Um, and I think this person might even try to mask these feelings with some form of addiction. Now, addictions can manifest in many, many different ways. Okay. It could be alcohol, um, substance abuse, it can be gambling, it can be partying, it can be you know, a lot of negative um, behaviors, gambling, right? It can be, it can be many, many things. Um, but this person is, is, has been avoiding you. Some of you, you might have tried to reach out to this person and not got much of a response, maybe got kind of shut with the door in your face or you know, a blocked thing or you know, no response, left, left on red or something. This person is hiding from you, but the thing is, is that they still feel connected to you. Let's see more. This is really, this is very interesting. Let's see more. What is holding this person back? Let's, you know, let's do the Norman. Um, what's going on with this person? What is going on? How is this person thinking about you? What is this person thinking about you? What is this person thinking about the collective, please? What is this person thinking about you? You're someone who is at a distance from them. They think about you as someone that they would have to like go and see or make some kind of effort to be with. Like you might have moved or maybe they live um, at a distance from you. Like you're not someone that they worry that they're going to run into at the same supermarket or something like that. What does this person think? And that if it ended with you, how do they feel about it ending? How does this person feel about things ending with you? How does this person feel about things ending with you? Again, there's that like mask energy, right? And we saw that with the hand of cards, like, you know, pretending I'm fine. How do they feel? What Underneath all of it, how do they feel? Again, there's the dice again again like hand of cards this is someone who won't even admit to themselves that they care okay and I know that that's really hard to hear but you guys know I'm a truthful reader I will always be very very honest and straightforward this is somebody who will not even allow themselves 
to accept how they really feel about you. Somebody who tries to mask it with neg negative things. They feel there's something about you that is somehow a risk, okay? Like, they can be, like, really focused on, like, other things and trying to avoid you, trying to avoid this connection, trying to block you out. Now, they can also have some kind of fear here in what they feel that potentially they may have kept secrets or lied to you about something, okay? And there is some type of fear that if they reconnect with you, there's a fear of embarrassment, like if you find out the truth. Almost like they're afraid of facing you because of you could discover this about them. Like maybe they said they were more successful than they are, or they're, so they were younger than they actually are, or, you know, they you know, had their own place, maybe that wasn't true, maybe they said they were divorced or separated, that's not necessarily true. It could be a lot of things, we'll have to see more specifically. You know, something is not what it seems, the mask is hiding something. This person may feel that they played a lot of games with you, okay, and they may feel a lot of shame for that. You know, the tower can suggest some type of like defensiveness, like protectiveness, like in a way, like maybe you do make them feel vulnerable, but they're like, and there's just something about fear and like masking and risk about you. Like, I can't let you get too close to me because you might see like the real me. You might see the vulnerable side that I don't let other people get close to. Um, how does this person view you? Like, what do they think about you? Like your, their real thoughts about you as a person. What do they think about you as a person? You're... You didn't deserve, you didn't deserve the way they treated you. You deserved better. I mean, you're a good person. You're kind. You're, you're loving. You're sympathetic. You're under, you're compassionate. You, you know, you have a big heart. You're very generous. You know, you were always nothing but, you know, loving and accepting and kind. And maybe they didn't feel they deserved that. How do they think about you? your temptation for them. Now, I mean, the snake is interesting because, you know, it could be seen as a deceptive energy, but the snake is also very sexual, okay? Um, so, it does talk about, like, temptation, like, um, like the apple in the Garden of Eden, you know, it's like, I should know that I shouldn't. It's forbidden fruit. You know, I shouldn't mess around with a girl like you or a guy like you. You're so kind. You're so beautiful. You're so generous, and I'm only going to hurt you. And, like, I don't let people get close to me. And, and I feel like something about you, there's something about your purity, your light, your innocence, your love. Again, it's like this person fears getting close to you. Why do they Why did they ghost you or go silent? Why are they being quiet? Why is this person being quiet? Because they don't want to open up to you. Why are they being quiet with you? Why are they being quiet? Why are they being so closed off? Like, they're creating distance with you because they're afraid. They're afraid of you. Tell me more. That's interesting. They're afraid you're going to see them for who they really are. That's the thing. You're going to be able to analyze everything about them, the magnifying glass. They've created physical distance here because they are afraid of opening up to you. They're afraid of you knowing the truth, of knowing who they really are. There's, there's this desire to come forward, but there's like, I have to keep you away because I don't want you to see this part of me. Like this person may have worn a mask or pretended to be something they're not. And like they're, they're like... Out of all the people that I could deceive and hurt, someone like you, I don't, I don't want to put you through that. Okay, let's see. Let's more specifically. Um, what is going on in your connection? What is happening between you and this person, please? What is happening between you and this person, please? What is happening between you and this person? I'm going to... I'm going to move these up just out of the way a little bit. There we go. So we kind of have them, but um, what is going on between you and this person? I'm going to do your energy at the top and their energy at the bottom. Okay. What is going on between you and this person, please? What is going on? Some of you do feel like you were supposed to marry this person or end up with this person. Like you, you wanted something more serious. But this person was keeping secrets. Like you uncovered some kind of truth about them. Tell me about this person, please. They don't know what they want. 
like they don't know what they want. But they do have really strong feelings for you. I'm getting really sad and like really emotional, so please bear with me. Um, I hope this is helpful. I think they do want to come back around towards you. Like you make them really happy. Okay, we have strong Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Leo Energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't want to let you go. Like you did make this person really happy. You wanted more stability. You wanted more commitment than this person was offering. Some of you, this person was afraid for you to see an addiction to something. Or, like, I don't, again, I don't know if it's substance or if it's, like, gambling or both. Like, this person was, like, really bad with money. They were not as, like, um, like, put together as they may have tried to present themselves. Like, there's some kind of shame or embarrassment about their behavior or their past. Maybe they even told you they were more educated than they actually were. Like, maybe they said they went to college, but that's not true. And if they wanted to impress you, you see, and I think that this could be really specific. This could resonate for, like, one or two of you, okay? But for some of you, I feel like this person might have even said they went to, like, a nice college, but that was actually not true. Like, maybe they barely finished high school or didn't at all. Um, or they said they had a better job than they actually do, or they made more money than they actually do. It's like... There's something about their life that they're ashamed of. For some of them, I mean, it might even be that they said, you know, they come from a nice family, but maybe they actually came from the trailer park. Nothing wrong with the trailer park, you know. Your girl Mystic, you know. You know. <laughs> we, I didn't. I did. I grew up humble. It's all I can say, you know. Um, nothing wrong with that, you know. But I'm saying, like, I, I feel like this person. I feel like they are ashamed of themselves and a shame for you to see who they really are. Not only just their physical self, like who they really are, like their upbringing, like where they come from, their behaviors, those kind of things, but also like their emotional self. Like this person might have like some deeper insecurities when it comes to letting people get close to them because it's like they're trying, they're trying intentionally to keep you away from seeing the real them. They're a closed book. They're not revealing any information. They have sep they've put the bridge out. They have separated the two of you as far as possible. They, they're afraid of you really seeing and like analyzing them because that you can't, you wouldn't miss it, right? You'd see through them. Like you wanted more stability and security and you felt like there was some kind of spiritual significance or calling to this person and you wanted things to move forward. There was a lot of communication, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction, a lot of strong emotions. And for you, I don't think you care one way or the other what this person's background is, what their struggles are, as long as they're, you know, willing to put in the effort, the energy, you know, love you and, you know, try to make things work. I think that's what you really want. But there were secrets that were exposed here. For some of you, this person, they might have had other people. Okay, like they might have entertained other people. That's not for all of you, though. Some of you, like I said, it could have been something about an addiction. Some of you could even be like lust addictions or things like that. Um, but they're avoiding you. Not today. I don't want you to see this. Like, like, like look at this. Keep the phone from his ear. He's like, get this away from me. Again, the same thing with this. is like pushing you as far, far away as possible. But that, uh, sad, deeply hurt, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning, heartbroken. This person, this is somebody who is not happy with this separation. But again, we see like the mask, the dice. We're seeing hand of cards. Take a risk. Being strategic. Not showing uh, hand options. Gambling. This is somebody who doesn't want you to be close to them. They don't want you to see the real them. Um, and this person is feeling so confused about you and like this situation. Like they don't know what to do because they are in love with you. Okay. And they feel connected to you. And a part of them wants to like reconcile this situation and, and try to make this work because they have kind of put you on a pedestal and they do want to try to work at this. But I think that this is somebody who is really scared of you seeing the real them and like rejecting them. Tell me about this, please. What do you need to know about this person? Will the collective's person return to them? Will the collective person... Actually, you know what I'm going to do, you guys? I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two piles, okay? Let's do... Because there's, there's a lot of you, okay? So I'm going to do two piles. I'm going to pick um, this Howlite Worry Stone. And I'm going to pick this tiger's eye worry stone and i'm going to pick both of them so to give you a minute to check to pick which one you resonate with okay um i'll do this one first and then this one second okay so 
for those of you who chose the how light, will your person, will your person come back? Will your person come back? Will you hear from this person again? Those of you who are in no contact with this person, will you hear from this person again? Will, will your person, will you hear from your person again? Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, so I think that you will hear from this person again. I don't think that this person is going to be able to stay away from you, but they may not come in in an emotional way, okay? Like, the, this person might return with some type of, like, help that they need from you. Like, hey, I'm starting a business. Could you help me with this, that, and the other? I, you know, I know that you're really successful, really good at this. They're going to think of, or my friend is doing this kind of work. I know you do this kind of work. It's like this person will f think of some kind of reason that they need you. Like, they can't stay away, but they do also don't feel confident just being honest about why they're returning to you. They're trying to come up with some kind of reason that they need to contact you or get in touch with you. Um, because this, this person doesn't, they can't handle separation anymore. This person like misses you like once. In, I mean, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries, but this is somebody who, um, you know, wants to start things up is looking for any kind of opportunity that is like, um, where they're, they're afraid to basically be emotional. They're afraid to be vulnerable. They're afraid to say, listen, I miss you. I know I, I messed up. I, I made all these mistakes. So this person will try to return to you in a way where, you know, Oh, it's it's not because of that. Like they may try to like, you know, bring this back together, but they may start it off like, oh, I just I really needed some some assistance. I know you're so smart, so good at this. Like just some kind of reason that they can talk to you without, you know, um, humbling themselves. And like I'm getting really emotional. Like this person is like really afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of you being like, no, you missed your chance. You messed up. Um, because they kind of think that they're beneath you or that you deserve better than them, okay? Um, those of you who chose the tiger's eye, will this person return to you? Will this person return to you? Will this person, could be a Leo or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so, okay, I don't feel like this person is returning to you, at least not anytime soon, um, I think that this person is trying to make a decision, but they don't, there's too much ego, there's too much pride here, and this person does not feel confident in themselves. So they're like dragging their feet. They want to, but again, there's also a lot of ego here. This is somebody who is afraid to really put themselves out there in any way. Um, I mean, I always recommend you guys get personal readings, if not with me, with someone that you trust, somebody who you know is going to tell you the truth. This is somebody who does want to speak with you, this is someone who does want to talk to you, but they just don't know how to do it. They, they, they also might be with another person right now for some of you, if they're already with someone, that might be why, because they know that they can't necessarily offer you something serious because they're already with someone working on another relationship. Um, but they do think about you. And again, I mean, that could change with time. This is still collective, but I don't see it like in the immediate future. Okay. So that is what I have for you, beautiful souls. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.